John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah unfortunately he manifested the spirit of Elijah but he did not manifest the power of Elijah had he manifested the power of Elijah he would not die the way he died because the same way that woman looked for Elijah that was how Herod and Herodias looked for him there was an ability he had he came in the spirit and the power of Elijah he used the spirit and ignored the power Jesus Christ Jesus Christ now that is a very serious and expensive statement if I was the one who made such statement about uh, Apostle Joshua Seman, most of you would be ready to chew me raw and rain all the courses you can remember on me. Now here is your much respected and adult teacher condemning and talking down on a vindicated and approved prophet of God. Now let's analyze these statements one after the other and see them in the light of scriptures before we draw our conclusion. John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah unfortunately he manifested the spirit of elijah but he did not manifest the power of elijah <laughs> this man is funny this is a man who baptized god in the flesh and a dove descended and the voice of god sounded from heaven and the people heard it because the voice was vindicating jesus to the people now you say he didn't use the power of elijah how are you expecting him to use it please he should command fire from heaven to consume the israelites before you know that he's using the power of elijah a man who made people hear the voice of God loud and clear. They saw the Holy Ghost with their literal eyes. They saw the Holy Ghost descend like a dove with their literal eyes. Hmm? And you say he didn't use the power of Elijah. Joshua said, man, the kind of power that John the Baptist used, you can never come close to it till you leave this earth. A man that the Bible recorded that he was filled with the Holy Ghost from birth. He saw the Pharisees who were claiming to be men of God coming to baptize and he addressed them by their origin he called them offsprings of the serpent he called them generation of vipers and you joshua say man you are surrounding yourself with false preachers and you who claim to be a prophet oh you are around false preachers you visit false preachers you go to their churches to minister you are around them you have not been able to identify them to be false preachers and you say john the baptist did not use the power of elijah you are a liar sir had he manifested the power of elijah he would not die the way he died because the same way that woman looked for Elijah. That was how Herod and Herodias looked for him. Now, the Elijah you are talking about, when Jezebel was looking for Elijah, did Elijah not run? Have you asked yourself what would have happened if Elijah had not run? So because he died the way he did, means he did not exercise power. So what do you say about Jesus then? Jesus who exercised greater power than all the prophets in the Bible put together, yet his death was worse than that of John the Baptist. So Jesus too did not use the power of Elijah, that's why he died. I don't know where you pastors are getting all your satanic revelation from, where you get these revelations and you begin to condemn the prophets of the Bible in order to establish your own revelation. That's how Bedamina the other day was condemning uh, Moses, was correcting Moses. Eh? These are men that God has vindicated them and their message has been added to the Bible. You that we don't even know who you are, we don't even know if you are going to heaven or you are going to hell. You are condemning John the Baptist. Hmm? So you think that power is used to avoid death? Eh? What, a, what a shallow mind you have my brother look at how the apostles died now look at Stephen look at how Stephen died is it because he didn't use power of Elijah that's why he died look at Peter look at Paul look at Philip look at all the early church look at how they were killed by the Romans is it because they didn't use the power of Elijah that's why they died don't you know that a true prophet of God can still die a mysterious death eh? Jesus Christ being our perfect example hmm? so what are you saying there was an ability he had he came in the spirit and the power of Elijah he used the spirit and ignored the power. What usually annoys me most is the way people are hating this man after he's saying this nonsense. How can you say that John the Baptist who used the spirit to ignore the power? A man who stood for the truth until his dying day, he was in the palace to be interviewed of King Herod and the Bible recorded that while he was there, he was telling the man the truth, reproving, rebuking him of sin, telling him that this thing you are doing is not right. A true preacher, eh? Is that not the same thing that Elijah was doing to Ahab and Jezebel? Rebuking Jezebel of her sin, telling Ahab that what you are doing is not right. Eh? You, Joshua Seman, who claim that you have not ignored the power. You who have not ignored the power. All the old Jezebels that are around you, all the worldly rulers and politicians that you mingle with, all the worldly preachers you mingle with, how many of them have you told the truth? Have you not compromised with them? You who you, you, you say that you are using the power, you didn't ignore the power. Eh? 
and you are not afraid you have the infantry to be talking about a man that even jesus approved of even jesus was praising him do you know more than jesus for as long as john was in the will of god he had access to all that god intended for him to do no one could kill him no one could people could persecute him but he became invincible he was immune because he was staying in the will of god the moment john the baptist feared of the will of god and he began to do and practice things that were not in his prophetic blueprint he became a prey to the enemy and he died cheaply wow what a misinformation what a blasphemy. This man is clothed with so much sheep clothing that it takes a Holy Ghost filled and taught believer to identify the wolf in him. First of all, John the Baptist left the will of God. A man who died defending the truth. How is that not the will of God? So you expect him to remain at River Jordan preaching repentance by water after he has pointed the people to who they should follow and who they should listen to. He said that we decrease and he will increase he already pointed them he said hear ye him this is the man uh, lamb of god that take away the sin of the world he said i baptize you with water this one will baptize you with holy ghost and fire he had pointed them to who to follow now eh? and he was still preaching this repentance and i will prove it to you now with scriptures now you think that john the baptist was as confused as some of you eh? show me the scripture that says that john the baptist went out went out of the will of god now according to scriptures john was where he was doing what god sent him to do john was doing god's will preaching repentance by water but that gospel was already dying down because a greater gospel had come that's why jesus said you can't put a new wine in an old bottle so john the baptist was pointing them to a new gospel now but he was still preaching his own part knowing that it is coming to an end soon and it had to come to an end so that jesus own ministry could come up that's why what happened happened so it happened according to the perfect will of god now herod arrested john the baptist for no good reason. What was the reason why he arrested him? He arrested John the Baptist because John the Baptist was preaching to him that he was committing adultery by taking his brother's wife, by taking Herodias. Do you understand? So the preacher was still preaching the truth, unlike many of you false preachers that have deviated from the, from the path. Eh? So now, as he was correcting the king, the king put him in prison because the king didn't want him to... You, in those days, you, do, you dare not defy the king. But this is a man that has so much confidence in what he was preaching he is a man that could give his life for what he was preaching and he preached and he said that this thing you are doing no king is wrong and the king put him in prison for that the man was in prison now the king was stupid enough to allow the the dance that the daughter danced to make him to dr drunkenly say wish tell me what you what you wish for then herodias now decided to tell the girl to request for john the baptist head and they beheaded john the baptist is john the baptist the first prophet to die like that have you found out how Jeremiah died? Have you found out how Isaiah died? Have you found out how Ezekiel died? How other prophets in the Bible died? Why do you think Jesus was telling them that you Israel, you always kill the prophets? That's how the prophets in the Bible have been dying. So you think John the Baptist is like all of you face fake prophets who, who is afraid of death? Hmm? You think because he died mysterious, mysteriously, that means he didn't die in the will of God. You want to do uh, what you did with William Abraham with John the Baptist. That's how all of you say because William Abraham died in a, in a car accident, he's not a true man, man of God. I keep telling you people that Joshua said man is not a true man of God but so, some of you, are, you you don't read the word of God you don't know the word of God you don't have the Holy Ghost that's why you cannot discern this man eh? Jesus in Matthew chapter 11 verse 7 to 19 Jesus was praising John the Baptist Jesus was approving of John the Baptist while John the Baptist was still in prison you think if he died wrongly or if he didn't die in the will of God Jesus will not mention it Jesus even mentioned how people were condemning him, himself and John the Baptist eh how John the Baptist came and he was eating, uh, he, didn't, he, he didn't drink, he didn't eat. People were condemning him. Jesus now said he came and he was eating and drinking. People are still condemning him. And now you, Joshua Seman, you have joined them in condemning John the Baptist. How can you, who claim to be a true minister of God, be condemning a minister of God which is, who is approved of God in the Bible? Then who are you, Joshua Seman? The assignment of John was to be the forerunner of Jesus. And for as long as he understood that assignment, and stood upon his watch playing that role effectively the same people who would later kill him were there and yet they had no power over him because he was immune by the power of his vision but the moment he announced jesus and he did not know what else to do with his life he began to delve into areas perhaps sincerely so that was not a mark for his destiny how could a man announce jesus and die the way john died how could a man ordain Jesus to ministry and die the way that he died? 
that is not how God rewards those who walk with him but that is what happens to a man when you become blinded just because you saw yesterday does not mean you are seeing now he announced Jesus and did not know what to do with his life do you have a scripture for that Saga man? where did you come up with such a lie eh? now you said how could a man announce Jesus and die the way John the Baptist died how could a man ordain Jesus to ministry and die the way John the Baptist died then you said that is not how God reward those who work with him this alone shows that you Apostle Joshua said man you don't read your Bible you don't know God at all you don't know biblical history and you think that the life of a minister of God is, is that of bread and butter I don't pity you I pity those who listen to you see Joshua said man go and read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 32 to 39 read and digest it and read what happened to the prophets in the Bible. See the way Paul described it. Paul who is a better minister than you are. Paul who is a true minister than you are. Go and read how true ministers of God died. You claim to be a teacher of the word of God and you don't know common Bible history. What is the difference between you and Nicodemus? Nicodemus who went to Jesus, Jesus was telling him things he didn't understand. Jesus said, you say you are a teacher and you don't know the mystery of the word of God. I'm even telling you earthly mystery you don't know. What if I tell you here heavenly ones? Eh? Isaiah was divided into two with a saw. Jeremiah was stoned to death. Eh? They didn't die naturally. They were killed. You want to tell me now that Isaiah and Jeremiah did not die in the will of God because they were sown asunder and they were stoned to death? I pity you and your listeners on the last day. See, many go show you shaggy when they realize, say, you they chop their money and you preach them enter fire. God have mercy, you. Come out of these churches, my people. Come out of these churches. Come out of Babylon and come to Zion. Come to God's true fold. God is gathering his people outside all these denominations. All these big, big ministers that, that the world are celebrating. They are not the true ones. They are leading people astray. Come now before it is too late. He that hath an ear, let him hear.